And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Z. This is going to be a Grand Plaza deck with a twist. We're going to be adding in Ionia with Demacia and the Grand Plaza for some spicy ones, especially this epic card, Ren Shadow Blade. 3 3 quick attack, which of course that's awesome with the Grand Plaza. This could turn this into a 4 4 quick attack challenger. Plus, whenever it strikes, then uh, you get to create a Shadow Fiend in hand. Which, you know, Shadow Fiend's perfectly fine. A 1 mana 4 3 Ephemeral, and we even have some other Shadow Fiends in here. But what really makes Shadow Fiend good is going to be the Grand Plaza, right? Because it's going to be a 5 4 Ephemeral Challenger for only 1 mana with the Grand Plaza. Because, right, like when you have a Grand Plaza in play, you're going to want to play a bunch of units out. And so spending just 1 mana for 5 4 Challengers. That sounds pretty awesome. And so that's what we're going to have with Shadow Fiend and with Ren Shadow Blade making more Shadow Fiends. So that could be really cool. We're going to have Fey Guide in here also granting Elusive, which could be really good with like Zed or Lucian or um, Shadow Blade, you know, giving this like just Elusive for future turns so they don't get to block it so you can keep on making Shadow Fiends. That seems pretty awesome. But then what you have your Senna and your Lucian. Where if this levels up, of course, you have the double attack. Or if your Senna sees Illusion die, it gets the double attack. And so if they have double attack and then you give them Elusive with double attack, that should probably end the game right there. Especially if you can you know, challenge any Elusive blocker they have with the Grand Plaza. So it looks like we got a, a bunch of cool little neat things in here. As far as our spells go, we got two Nobify, two Sharp Sight, two Relentless Pursuit, um, three single combats, and a Deny. Uh, we got some... Good anti-aggro stuff with some Radiant Guardians in here with the Lifesteal. Looks like it'll be a pretty interesting one to play. So let's give this a try. I mean, I don't really play Ren Shadow Blade too much, but this viewer submitted donation deck has it in there, and I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, hey, we got Zoe Lee Sin. Yeah, I think that a third sharp side would probably be the best. I'm not sure if it'd go over the single combat or maybe the Nopify or Relentless Pursuit. Like, I think I think Nopify and Relentless Pursuit are a little weaker. I could see playing one of one of those and um and getting a sharp side in over one of those all right so all four of our cards none of them are like the important ones right like we want we definitely want grand plaza obviously and um besides grand plaza we're going to want um you know we want lucian we want zed All that kind of stuff. I like the Shadow Blade making Shadow Fiends, but I don't know if like regular Shadow Fiends is going to be better than playing uh, the bird, the one mana 2 1 bird. But here I'm just, I guess I got to play it. You know, we can, it's basically, um, it's basically just decimate, right? Like it. Could just be decimate. I, I could single combat and try to kill Zoe, but that doesn't seem. I don't know. I guess that's. I guess that's worth it. Because the four damage to them isn't very important. So I, I just spent three cards, or well, sorry, I spent two cards to kill Zoe, and then but then they also gain a super cool star chart. So they also gain a really powerful celestial card that's more powerful than a normal card. So that one, that's what makes Zoe so good. <laughs> so that Zoe was just a three for one. But of course, that's also my uh, the four three that I had didn't actually really trade with anything anyway wasn't going to at least all right let's mess some folks up time to get rowdy making the dead dead
All right, gonna go ahead and notify that. I'm sorry, Yawn. I'm so I'm so sorry about that. I forgot to do predictions. Thing's just a 1-1. A one, one. I don't really want to spend one of these cards on killing a 1-1. One, one. Both those cards are just pretty valuable. You know, like, like Lee Sin is super scary, and both these cards would be pretty valuable against Lee Sin. Now... I guess I will use it on Eye of the Dragon, though, because Eye of the Dragon also a pretty valuable card. I'll go ahead and get that out of here. Levitation requires concentration. Celestial power. Stand for what's right. Oh, oh. Hmm. Hey, Bubby. This is one of my two dogs, Puppy. I'm what nightmares fear. Dog's name is Puppy. My other dog, Harvey, you can kind of see her right here. Beware. I'll pull her head up a little bit. See, there she is. She's sitting down on the ground. You can kind of see her a little bit. You're covered. Yeah, we got no plaza and no champions in this game, even though I'm, I mulliganed all four cards looking for the champions in the plaza. My opponents over here are playing all their champions. Played a, Lo a Zoe and a Lee Sin. Then they also had the, the two mana... Uh, the Eye of the Dragon. It's like, they've had all their important threats. Follow my lead! Missed your chance to run. I'm not sure if, like, attacking with these is really worth it. Their heartbeats quicken. Act free of thought. Definitely should have used the pill cascade on on this because this was getting a barrier anyway. Alright, so we got rid of the 6-6 Lifesteal Elusive, and so that's certainly a good start. The Overwhelm is very bad for me. And it could be the game. All they have to do is be able to buff it up two more, so all they need is just a Pale Cascade. Or I guess, no, they need, they need three more. Yeah, I guess they need three more. Conflict is all in the mind. Strike center your spirit. For tonight. She said, so <clears throat> if we mulligan all four cards and we're looking for three specific cards, the champions and um Grand Plaza, you say there's a 91.1% chance that we draw those. It does seem like a pretty high chance. Conflict is all in the mind. Yep. 
Beleza. Ashes in the dust. Go hard. Looks like today's a go hard day. We haven't had a go hard day in a little while. Um, but looks like lots of go hard today. So Grizzled Ranger is kinda unplayable against go hard unless we have the plaza, right? Like if we have the plaza, it makes the, the Grizzled Ranger a 4-2. Then you're talking. I'll just keep the Shadow Blade. The Shadow Fiend looks really bad. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's been two games so far. And we haven't had Plaza. But this card looks unplayable unless we have Plaza. Right? Like, we can't... Against a deck that will grind you out like Ohard, you can't just, like, spend one mana and get rid of a card. That's all this would be doing, is just spend one mana to just discard a card. We can't do that. And unfortunately, Relentless Pursuit doesn't do anything either. So we kind of have a whole bunch of absolute nothing. My shield is yours. Unfortunately. Let's get to it. I'll stop you. So that's also kind of kind of a problem. Just, you know, like, you know, we're just kind of spitballing here. Like, but that also looks like a, a weakness to Bright Seal Protector. If you don't have, if your one drop doesn't, like, this one drop doesn't work with Bright Seal Protector. So that also looks to be a hindrance. All right, so we did find Grand Plaza, so that's gonna make that's gonna make these cards much much better. Everything's gonna work a lot better now. I need more a shadow to cut through the light. Who's for blood? No, this is not a meme deck, Borg. Alright, so basically, am I using Relentless Pursuit right now? I guess I should not. Right, yes, correct. Okay. No, yeah, we're gonna we're, we'll use Relentless Pursuit next turn. Oh yeah, if we win this game, this will be very good for us, winning over Go Hard. This is enticing to just pass. Honestly, like this actually kind of looks like a good pass. But I don't know. I feel like we're gonna make this attack. And I'm gonna completely regret it. No, I guess I guess no, I guess we just have to. Just kills both of their things and creates a shadow fiend for us. No. Motion. Motion. Nothing. Okay. I do not completely regret that attack. I think it was the attack we had to make. Yeah, it's a good trade for us, that's true. Senna trading up with the seven mana spell. It's a good trade for us mana wise. Gotta go with the flow. Keeping the, the two mana up for Nopify. Even though I, I could have played double Shadow Fiend right there. I like this uh, counter though. You know, like, you put less Go Hards back into their deck, make it more difficult to find more Go Hards and everything like that. They can still Ruination. Alright, out of Ruination Mana. So they knew about both of those. Those were the two that Ren Shadow Blade created. They don't know about this one. Push back the 
darkness. Because this is a ton of power, right? Like, if I, I challenge this with Lucian, we're looking at doing, like, 10 with these. I kill you? I don't you. I hope they didn't just draw... Ugh, they just drew a pool shark. Alright. So if I play this Shadow... I could just play the Shadow Fiend and it dies at end of turn and then my Lucian levels up. Hmm. I think I'm just going to hold on to it, though, and be able to have it to attack with Grand Plaza. So I think if they, if they want to kill Lucian, it's not that difficult for them to kill Lucian. Dead men tell my tale. I assume we're gonna play. We're gonna draw something else that we can play. It's so like I, I can. I get to attack with the Grizzled Ranger first with the Scout, and then. Nothing like the stink of blood and um, get see what they do. The dead don't need riches. Rewarded, rewarded for spending the mana, withdrawing the Cythria. Certainly rewarded for spending that mana. They were already at Packer Bags, even, even with me notifying one of them. Yeah, I guess so. I guess they'd play that many spray fins. Show them what we're made of. Right on. Hmm. Like, I could do six damage to them, right? Like, I could do this and then just do six damage to them and put them down to two, but I don't really know how we're doing the other two. Like, that would have been nice if if they didn't have the vengeance. So I didn't level up my Lucian, but by saving the Shadow Fiend, I got to use it as a one-mana removal spell for a Gangplank, so that's, that's a pretty good trade. And so they've played two Vengeance so far. <laughs> Pack your bags is too weak and needs to remove landmarks also. Looks like trouble. That's a curious gold card. Like why is that not blue card? Why is that gold right there? Alright, let's mess some folks up. We've been drawing well. These last three draws have all been very good. Obviously, we would prefer to have draw in the deck than zero draw, but there's not really draw we can play. We have, um, you know, like, these two regions aren't really, they don't have very many options. We have, like, wrench, you know, our wrench Shadow Blade creates cards. Dead in their traps. Hmm. We're playing against the deck with the most card draw, like, in the format. Spirits. 
me the hand life deals you have, don't you? Man, life There's must be nice. Tongue you've got there, River Snake. A pack your rags is perfect, and then double twisted fate, ruination. Must be pretty nice. Stay hidden. So I think we're going to do this so that it only deals one, which means it deals zero to the Radiant Guardian, only dealing one to the Fey Guide important so the Fey Guide stays alive after I kill this Twisted Fate. Quick death was too good. I am reborn of salt and pride. That stuff, that definitely hurts. That was that's pretty great for them getting direct nexus damage. Level up gangplank. That's pretty great for them. Yeah, that's that's exactly what they needed. I will end this here. Leave us alone. We do that or this. Either way, I go to seven. It's like go to the same life total either way. It's just. Yeah, I guess I go this way. It's do I do I kill do I kill the two two and have Radiant Guardian at three health? Oh yuck! Wow, these these draw steps. you doing shadow shift Do have more withering whales. Don't look twice. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. Unfortunately, I just have to play the Zed and let the Zed die. Because I it's either that or have my Radiant Guardian die with it blocking here. I guess the, the Zed just dies to the attack anyway, so the Zed actually doesn't help me. Yeah, this, this Gangplank... Uh, they've had so many things go right for them. <laughs> really, they needed Ruination, which they had that. Then they needed the, that second Twisted Fate. They had that. And now this gangplank afterwards. Nothing to fear. Just drawing everything. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a dying. Break their legs. This'll set them running. A deck with absolutely no card draw to a deck with the most possible card draw. You see the difference. I know, right? Poor 5-5 five, five Radiant Guardian. Never needed to be nerfed. Stay back! Cut the breath. 
back from them. Yeah, it's still zero. Hold back the darkness. So that's the best block I can make. It's still zero. We we drew really well in that game uh, for our deck, but their cards are just too good. And that's why you play Gangplank, right? Like, not everybody plays Gangplank in that kind of deck. But that one of Gangplank, um, you know, it, it ruined me. All right, so we're going to need to be more aggressive here in this matchup playing against Deep. I'm just not really sure what Bright Steel Protector is really doing. I guess. I guess it could protect. Bright Steel Protector can protect Lucian from challengers. Like they have the the four one challenger, or they have saplings. Maybe our Bright Steel Protector can protect against that. I'm gonna save the two spell mana. We could we could get another three points of damage in by playing the Bright Seal Protector. But I'm gonna save the spell mana. They're worried about sharp sight by not attacking there. You're covered. So this will put him down to four, which will be good to get him down to four. But how am I getting the rest of the damage in? I'm not sure. We'll try to figure that out. But we got him down to four. All right, let's miss some folks up. Okay. Not a bad draw. Can use my spell man on that. does make it where I have all, all three attackers are lethal. If I just attack immediately. Um, but, you know, it sets them up for having... Uh, like, if I just attack immediately, they can have vengeance. Or anything like that. Or, you know, like Withering Whale, all that kind of stuff. And stay alive. But it's, it's good attacks. Because they have to block with these Devour Adepts. Um, obviously, I kind of want to play the Sith this other Sithria first. What's the problem with playing the other Sithria? Them playing... Like, they play Nautilus. That's perfectly fine. They play the 3-2 the Lifesteal. That's still kind of fine. Yeah, like, that's still fine. Show them what we're made of! Well, that's good for me. Honor guide me. Yeah, so that, that should work out just fine. And I think we got our first win. Sure looks like it. GG's. Alright, one and two. All right, Shen Fior can be a little tough, but we'll see if, you know, Grand Plaza would definitely be the card that we want to see. 
So Nopify only stops single combat. So I'm going to go ahead and mulligan that. I'm going to keep Sharp Sight. It's an important combat trick, but we're going to look for other stuff. All right, not the best of hands. Not the best. We're kind of on Lucian and Prey. Strat, Prey for Grand Plaza. Hope this works when we get to take out Shen. Yay! That's big. I will definitely trade. Um, trade those to get Shen out of here. And now we draw Grand Plaza. No. Not Grand Plaza. Push back the darkness. We swim within the flows of magic. Strike, we will reform. Barrier lifesteal. Precision and grace. All right, so that's two kills for Fiora. <laughs> two down. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. Now Fiora is just a four-four. Strike quickly. Oh God. And I that's guess safe. this is probably game over, isn't it? Unfortunately, against a Fiora and a Barrier, if you have any kind of Barrier card in hand, none of these cards have any text. Any that are any relevant text, that would be. Could really used, really use the Grand Plaza. Like, even now, like if we just go like Grand Plaza plus Relentless Pursuit plus Shadow Fiend, challenge the Fiora, kill it. So we've played four games, only one game with the Grand Plaza. Just not these cards do anything. Like, I think I've been mulliganing a good amount. Yay. Because we've only had one game with Grand Plaza. That's been the game where our decks look the best. The deep deck just didn't do anything. Um, what, do, what do we want to deny for against Braum Trundle? Like, Avalanche? Like In the super late game, they can have Feel the Rush. But most of their interaction is going to be all burst speed. I think I'm looking at this. So I'm glad we have the attack token turn four, so I can play the Grand Plaza 
on their attack on turn three, and then we can have the attack on turn four with um, Shadow Fiend, Zed, that kind of stuff. Prediction should be up. Yeah. Prediction's up. Fairly conf confidently assume that they are not going to play anything else until after combat. So I'm not sure if I, if I play Shadow Fiend this turn, if I don't. Well, it's not as bad as Troll Chant. Guess we'll take that. Yeah, they're they're definitely not a, a Targon speak deck. But yeah, I kind of forgot about that. How do we ever kill anything? not going to be easy. Oh, no. Come on. Sentinels of light, don't fear the dark. Destruction feeds my fire. In a world full of monsters, I'm glad I have you. That'll never change. Go ahead, scare me. I don't know how we endure a 7 8 tough. Just you, huh? I don't really know how I'm getting through a 7 8 tough. This will level up Lucian. I'll sleep when they're dead. Now that gives us another attack token. No room for doubt. Let us get going. No, I, I couldn't let Senna hit first because then I wouldn't have had the extra attack there. If I let if I if I went to if I went to attacks first and they would have just killed the the three one and then if I let Senna die then let Lucian levels up I don't get gain the extra attack. So I don't think that was the thing to do. Come on. 
Oh wait, that's still okay. No, because they get gains tough. But it's five tough? Okay, so yeah, it's still okay, right? But then it kills my Lucian, because it gains the extra power. Never mind. Sure. We get a yearling over here. Well, that was a killer of them destroying my Grand Plaza. And, you know, Tarkaz being tough and everything. Alright, so we only ended up 1 and 4. Yeah, our, our deck... As you can see there, our deck um, had some had some powerful cards, but overall was very reliant on the Grand Plaza and no kind of card advantage. Like our, everybody else was just um, running us out of cards very quickly. Shadow Fiend didn't look very good. Um, it it looks like it's only playable with the Grand Plaza, and even then, didn't really look too good. Um, yeah, I, I kind of just wish I would like Fey God didn't really help with the elusive too much kind of just wish we had it i don't know i guess we just need more cards that generate cards right like we have uh shadow blade that can create shadow fiend but besides that um yeah it's we're we're good at attacking and we're really good when we have grand plaza and we're attacking any other situation if we don't have grand plaza if we ever have to block if we ever have, like, our opponents just kill our units with removal. Because our, our stuff, like, you know, like Lucian, Senna, Zed, those cards aren't very good against removal. Um, so, you know, if our opponent's using removal or if they are also aggressive and force us to block. Um, or if they just... Uh, or if we don't have Grand Plaza. Um, or if they can just outlast us, if they have just better blockers. Any of those kind of scenarios, it looked like our deck didn't have enough so um yep there we go so that's that's uh that's lucian zed um yeah all right but there we go that's that's lucian zed so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and leave those comments as well let me know what you think of the deck and and if you if you've been playing any zed with the grand plaza I'd be interested to see what you, what you have with Zed and uh, Grand Plaza, because um, I, I think that is a, a pretty cool combination. So, um, yeah, let me know what you have over there. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.